Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of Retro Game Revisited. Uh, today we are going to do another wrestling game because I hit a bit of a theme. Because um, I did my very first NES game, which just so happened to be a WrestleMania Challenge. And I did uh, WCW vs NWO on the 64, Revenge on the 64, uh, a few weeks uh, prior. I figured, well... If I'm doing wrestling games, I might as well do all the ones I have. Get them out of the way, you know, do a fair review on each, but get them done. So, the second, probably, this is probably one of the last ones I have on the 16-bit consoles. Uh, well, it, well, no, it is the last one I have on the 16-bit console. It's uh, WWF Raw. Uh, I know what you're thinking, that's an American cartridge. I have an adapter that allows me to, to play these ones. Um... I always preferred the American cartridges. They just, I mean, from what I gather, they were designed in the style of the old NES cartridges, so they were given that look so that they kind of looked the same. But the Japanese Super NES had cartridges like the European cartridges, so the slightly more rounded uh, ones. But this, as you can see, is, is very, it's very blocky. It has N labels. The Japanese and the European cartridges didn't have end labels. I cannot stress how much of a good idea that was. Um, again, it was made by LJN. They had the monopoly on a lot of a lot of these games, uh, the, the wrestling ones and and stuff like that, uh, which disappointed disappointed me when I saw how many crap LJN games they were. And I'm thinking to myself, were the LJN games really that bad? I mean, I had a few. I mean, I definitely remembered when they said LJN. I was like, oh. The wrestling games. Then I watched the videos. I was like, those games are horrible. Why do I not remember the wrestling ones being so horrible? Um, because they're not that bad for what they are. I mean, they're not an adventure game. It's a wrestling game. It's a fight. It's a kind of fighting game. Um, but yeah. Okay, so the uh, the tagline on this is Red Wrestling's Rudest and Roughest. So I'm going to assume that this was the bit just before the Attitude Era. It's not the Attitude Era, because there's no Stone Cold Steve Austin, uh, there's no uh, Jake the Snake, but Razor Ramon and Diesel are in it. So it's that bit that was just before the uh, the curtain call in, in Madison Square Garden. Uh, if you don't know about it, look it up. It was, um, it was when a, a group of friends within the wrestling community broke uh, what they call kayfabe. It's basically uh, the uh, idea that wrestling is real. Um, it's like like this show, you know, like when people are on film and on set, like, you know, people are not the, the actors are not the characters they are, but they will be in character while they're on the show, and then they'll go home and they'll be out of character. Well, that was kind of like how this was. Well, these, the, these four guys, uh, Triple H, who was Hunter Hearst Helmsley back then, um, X Pac, who was the one, two, three kid, uh, Razor Ramon and Diesel, they were good friends, and Shawn Michaels as well. The, well, uh, Razor Ramon and Diesel were going to leave to go to WCW. Their contracts had expired, and they they left the WWF. But before they did, there was one last uh, event at Madison Square Garden, and they all came down to the ring after the last match, and they they basically had a like a group hug, but you would think. But then some of them were bad guys, some of them were good guys, and you and it made the fans think, "What the hell's going on?" You know, if you want the ones who weren't in the know, the ones who didn't realise by then that wrestling was fake or not. It's not fake. Sorry, the wrestling is predetermined, and the characters are just characters. People that didn't get it back then were like, "What the hell? What the hell's going on?" You know, he hates him and he's a baddie and. And it just it ru it ruined a lot of stuff, but you know it may it, it's the reality of things. You know, yeah, they're wrestlers, they're characters, but they're also people. So they said goodbye to their friends by breaking kayfabe. So enough about me talking about that. I'm going to pop this in, and we're going to see if it's weathered the uh, if it's stood up the test of time. Whew, okay, I managed to get it working, uh, just about. Um, because it's an American cartridge, uh, I have to use an adapter, and it was hard to find a game that would uh, work with it. Ideally, you're supposed to be able to use any game at all. 
Um, the problem I had with that was uh, that the, um, the the other some of the other cartridges weren't reading properly. It's just because of the the age, so you have to find a cartridge to put in the back that will work. And uh, the one that worked was um, <laughs> the uh, Super Scope Six. Mm, throat's getting a bit dry. Okay, so we're going to jump straight in. Uh, let's see. Uh, you could, ah, this was a multi-tap game, so you could do up to four players. Very, very cool. All right, so because I'm on my own, we do one player, obviously. Uh, let's see. All right, so we've got one-on-one -on -one, tag team Survivor Series Royal Rumble Bedlam or Raw Endurance match. Um. Let's have a look at what's beyond the scene. Ah, okay, so you can have a tournament, uh, you can have a brawl. I think that's when you can uh, hit them with uh, weapons and stuff and not get disqualified. Uh, right. Tag team, yep, yeah, same. Survivor Series, same. Royal Rumble. Uh, the Royal Rumble mode in this is actually, is actually more... It makes more sense than... Uh, the ones for WrestleMania 2000 in No Mercy because in this one you actually throw them over the top rope, but it, you have to wear their energy down quite a bit, and then you can then you can throw them out. Uh, Bedlam, I believe Bedlam. Uh, I've never heard of that match type, but I'm assuming it's that you can go around hitting them with weapons and shit, you know, and. Uh, uh, and you don't get this qualified raw endurance match. I, I would imagine that you get one energy bar. It doesn't refill, and you can just fight constantly. Um, hmm, what do we want to do? Let's do let's do a Royal Rumble. Okay, so we're going to go through the uh, the list. Okay, so you got Bret Hart, Undertaker. Yokozuna, Bam Bam Bigelow, Razor Ramon, <laughs> Lex Luger, Doink, Doink the Clown, Shawn Michaels, One Two Three Kid, <laughs> Diesel. He was one of my favourites. I always liked Diesel. Owen Hart, big respect. And for some reason, Luna Vachon, I have a very strong feeling she was probably added just so that it wasn't an all-male, uh, or no, an all-male uh, cast, cast characters, whatever. Right. So, uh, yeah, I always used to pick Razor. All right. So it's going to tell me the order. I think that they. I'm in a. Oh, no? Okay. Just me then. Ah, now this one you've got. You've got the bar above your your character. And you have more than one guy coming in to the ring. And as you can see, it's a lot more fluid, it's a lot more colourful. Um, characters get different moves. Like, that's, like he's got a belly to belly suplex. Some of them do over the top suplex. Uh, this, I, this is why I love this 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 particular style of Royal Rumble. There's six people in on a 16-bit cartridge. Now you can imagine if there's four people, four players playing this. I mean, that would be just great. And it's quick too. It, you know, uh, it, it doesn't your uh, characters don't last very long. You you can get beat up quite easily. I seem to be just belly to belly suplexing everybody. Oh no, atomic drop. Is it that's either a belly to belly or a double underhook suplex? It looks like a double underhook to me. Yeah. See oh, someone just went. 
I didn't even see what happened. Somebody went. <laughs> it's crazy. You've really got to keep an eye on what you're doing. And running's a bad idea. That's probably what happened. Someone ran and got thrown out. Okay, I think I eliminated the Undertaker. I know that's a bad. That's uh, going to be frowned upon, but it was either me or Taker. And I want to win this. Oh cool, yeah, and then uh, you can do your uh, signature moves in this as well, so my guy can do the razor's edge. Uh, I don't know why he's not doing it anymore. You can choke and do super holes. There was so much more that you could do with this game. I think you can even throw someone into the into the turnbuckle. Yeah. Wow. So hard to get it's so hard to do anything sometimes. And then I'm pressing the buttons like crazy, I'm forgetting to talk. Or at least commentate. I mean I Jesus, what the hell was that? Okay, so hopefully Yeah, so that's the razor's edge. if I can get him out of here because I haven't I've only eliminated one person so far that's it <sighs> boy they so I, the one thing I have to say is they really 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 improved uh, they really improved on um, the because the, the, there was one in between called Royal Rumble which I don't have but, but that, that would be um, good to try out but this was the last one that LJN made on the Nintendo 64 Try and stay away. Oh shit. Oh, okay, I got someone. <sighs> Haven't had to button bash like this in a long time. Oh god. Oops. I'm just going to stay out of the way over here. Oh! Oh boy, did I get lucky. Some and drop. Right, fall away slam. What are we talking about?
<laughs> oh! Get off me! <laughs> Eight, nine, ten. Wow. It's, all it takes is for them to add little bits here and there. Oh. Boy, that was tough. Wow. That's pretty cool, though. Yeah, so that's just the Royal Rumble mode. Oh, jeez. Uh, so it shows you who you eliminated and when, and uh, it tells you also if you get eliminated, you get whoever comes in next, and then you can uh, you can see the stats for like that. It's kind of cool, and then it tells you, you know, in what order people got uh, eliminated. When you, you press the button, then it goes back to the uh, the start. Um, let's do uh, a, a bedlam, a one a one four uh, bedlam. Do I want to be sure, Michaels? Maybe. Diesel. I didn't see Diesel in the Royal Rumble actually. He might have been in and then he went out real quick. Oh, hang on. I've got to pick someone else. Okay. Right, okay. Oh, okay. I think it's a tornado tag. Yep. Yeah. It's tornado tag. We're all in the ring at the same time. That makes sense. <laughs> I always love to do that. I think you can knock over the ref. Oh yeah, you can knock over the ref to, ca to stop the count. There was so much added to this that they didn't have in the first one. But it's essentially exactly the same game. They just added stuff. They added the uh, the, the bar, the extra moves. Maybe they rushed it, I don't know. It was so static as well. I mean, this one is really... that You move around the ring quickly. There's different moves, animations better. Oh, I really wish he wouldn't do that. Grab me around the friggin' throat. <laughs> oh. I can't, I couldn't move there for a second. Oh, flying drop kick.
And you can't break it up either. Okay. I'm sure there was a bucket outside that you could use as well to like, smash them on the head. But that's what Bedlam is. Is Bedlam's uh, it's an elimination, uh, elimination style uh, thing. I always thought these. I always thought these were pretty cool as well. I always thought those were, were pretty cool. Yeah. So I think the tournament was for the belt. But uh, I'm not going to... Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Okay. I don't know how many years it's taken me to just realise that by pressing select brings up their, their stats. So there's a reason why you pick certain like of course. Wow. Flipping out. I feel like such an idiot. I've only just figured it out. You can press select. And you, and you can work out their... Uh, damn. I feel like a fool. Well, I'm I'm still in in shock, but that's really cool. I didn't realise. But that explained that that made it more competitive rather than everyone being the the, the same. Okay. Well, I'm I'm uh, I'm not gonna play anymore because I think I'm done. Uh, I don't really have much else to say about it. This was the best one. Um, I remember like playing the Royal Rumble with friends, and we would be just sweating buckets, like trying to eliminate each other, like you know, hammering away at the buttons, and. Uh, I only just realised that you can actually check out the stats by pressing select. Select is a button that doesn't get used very much. That's a problem. Um, but yeah. So hopefully I'm going to get hold of the Royal Rumble version of this. Uh, I mean the one before this which was called Royal Rumble. I'm going to try and get hold of that. I'm definitely definitely going to do No Mercy and WWF WrestleMania 2000. I'm going to do WCW Mayhem, those were all for the Nintendo 64. And I'm going to try and see if there were any WCW games for the uh, nin Super Nintendo. And I know there was one, at least one, for the uh, for the normal Nintendo. So, on that note, thanks very much for watching. Please hit subscribe if you like what you've seen already. Uh, there's quite a back catalogue now of other videos that I've done. Uh, appreciate you watching and we'll see you again soon.